Looks like the perp stole a computer, a watch, and a jamón ibérico ham valued at what? $6,000. $6,000 for a ham? Jamón ibérico is an amazing cured ham from Spain. They had it at my uncle's funeral. I gorged myself at that funeral. I mean, I was constipated for three days. Wow, it's a great story, Charles. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Boyle. Yeah? What about this fancy ham stuff? Jamón Iberico. Yes. Mm -hmm. The perp left a really expensive TV, but then stole ham? Doesn't make yeah. sense. Is there a place nearby the crime scene that sells it? Beneficios might. Let's go. You gotta brief the CO first. We'll brief him after we catch the guy. My name is Ratko. I don't know anything. Oh, okay. You recognize this guy, Henry Morgenthau? No. Maybe actually look at the picture? I don't know him. I don't know what happened. No more questions. Well, why don't I run a scenario past you, Racco, and you tell me what you think. You do know Morgan Thau. He came in here and tried to sell you some hams. You knew they were worth a lot of money, so you tried to steal them from him when he wasn't home. Only he was home, so you shot him. Does that sound familiar? Uh, maybe some role play will jack your memory? Great idea. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm Racco. No, no, I'm Racco. Come on. I'm always the victim. Look, I'm not doing this with you right here. Fine, okay, fine. <clears throat> Oh, I'm Henry Morgenthau, owner of Delicious and Expensive Hams. Don't I know you from the grocery store? Kill and scene. <laughs> NYPD, everyone down! Ma'am, if you could just get down or ignore me and continue shopping. Boyle, get the door! On it. Ratko! <laughs> How are you still here? Jake! Little help! Uh, Racco! Put the phone anyway, Jake! Racco! I'm going to school! I got him! Nobody! So did... Hey, Captain. So you found something? Hey, I like the tie. If you can't beat him, join him. Anyway, I think I got something good here. Turns out the name Radco is made up, but I was digging through these files, one of which I literally found in a spider web, and it turns out there were a bunch of references to a Serbian thug, street names The Rat and the Butcher, who's known to hang out at a storage unit near Borum Park, which has red soil, hence the muddy red footprint on Morgenthau's counter. That's fine work, Detective. Thank you very much, sir. Testament to what can be achieved when you dress appropriately. Let's pound it out. What are you trying to tell us? Is this some kind of a clue? Canalizatia. Draw better. We have no idea what this is. I think it's a cookie. No, it's a pizza. <gasps> it's it's a, a cookie pizza. Another case solved. No, detectives. We... Let them go. She's taking us somewhere. This is good. This is good. We gotta crack this, Diaz. Canalizatia. Canalizatia. Nope. She just needed to take a dump. Rob. Come on in. He called the tip line, but he's so not crazy looking. Rosa, have Abdallah and I taught you nothing about stereotyping? I'm beginning to feel like you're our biggest project, sweetie. Enough. What did he tell you? Well, let's find out, OK? Together. Rob, do you want to share your experience with the group? Gladly. OK, so you know how there's a subterranean race of lizard people living beneath the city who control our minds with their pheromones? Okay, here's a wackadoodle. Jenna, get your wackadoodle out of here. Well, Marshawn Lynch will not leave your office. He has now pulled up one of those wedding proposal viral videos on his phone and is crying. What did I do to deserve this? Well, I haven't fared any better. She keeps drawing her stupid circle pictures and then running off to the bathroom. Canalizatia. Yes, sir, we get it. You have a bum tum, yes. Ugh, you think you guys have it rough? I've been stuck here listening to crazy Rob spew his insane garbage. What happened to your positive attitude, Abdallah? Don't even say the name, all right? He tweeted him and got nothing. Meanwhile, Rob tweets him some crap about lizard people. He's like, ooh, retweet, ooh, fave, everything. I just told him I saw one of them slip back into his lizard home under the streets. That's where they make their soup. Oh my god, he's on to something. Captain, don't try to be nice by giving a crazy person a voice. Plus, we've already learned that human rights are crap. No, he said that the lizard people live under the streets. He means the sewers. He saw someone go from the van into the sewers. Look. It's a manhole cover. 
Canalizatia! Duh! Somebody stole my laptop, which contained the unpublished manuscript of Book 13 of the Skyfire Cycle. The person left this note. We have your book. Pay us $500,000 in the next 24 hours, or we leak it online. The first five chapters are now up. They've been downloaded 85,000 times. Well, we should probably go online and read those chapters in case there's some clues in there. And also, maybe we'll find out Quandor's true parentage. Well, that's already been revealed. No, it hasn't. <gasps> Unless the prophecy of Dorgon is indeed true. But that would mean... It's the exact same note Parloff got. I don't see why anybody would want to steal your book. The Skyfire Cycle makes the Shadowbringer Cycle look like the Beast Worm Chronicle. You see, Rosa, the Beast Worm Chronicles are one of the more simplistic. Don't care. Yeah. You know what? My books say something, okay? <laughs> I was the only one brave enough to tackle elf molestation. Guys, calm down. You're both victims. Now, do you have any enemies in common? Let me think about that. Parlov is my enemy, but he's also his own enemy because he's such a boring and repetitive writer. He just keeps killing off characters, resurrecting them, and killing them off again. Because of the chrysalis orb. Uh, sorry, police officer on a case. But we will need you to both generate actual lists of people that might want to hurt you. We have 24 hours to figure this out, but if we don't, are you willing to pay the ransom? I'd do anything to get my book back. Mask on. Get mask on. Mask on. Get mask on. Mask on. Rep the set. Yeah, gotta rep the set. You were wrong! And being wrong never felt so right. Oh, that sounded cool. Did I just make up a hit song? Being wrong never felt so right with the Adams family staying up all night. Yep, I was right, it's a hit. I gotta go call Sharon. All righty, well, congratulations, Sarge. <laughs> don't forget about us when you become a famous author. Terry's writing sucks, Parlov is lying to him. What, why? I don't know. He's buttering him up. Because Lawson and Parlov stole their own books. Well, they stole their own books, it's plain to see, but who's on the case? The Adams Family. Terry is Gomez, I'm Cousin It. You are Wednesday, let's do this. Okay, we should go. Why do you think these guys are in it together? They hate each other. They spend an hour arguing over the name of the dragon and the hobbit. Smog. 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 It's Smaug, by the way, Point Lawson. But yes, they're mortal enemies, which is why they think we'll never suspect them of being in cahoots. Oh, but they cahooted, Rosa. They cahooted all over us. Gross. But why'd they leave their chapters? To get people excited. Like when Carly Rae Jepsen puts out an amazing single and you have to wait six weeks for the album to come out. She's great, I'm not apologizing. So Parlov contacted Terry because he knows Sarge is a super fan and can be manipulated. Yes, he's been giving Terry presents since last year. And Terry's novel gave Parlov another chance to manipulate him, unless... Is it possible Parlov actually likes Sarge's writing? Read the first sentence. Yep, Parlov did it. Very much so. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Guys, Captain Holt has no pants on. Um, what? He has no pants on is what? Here are the facts. At 11.55 a.m., Captain Holt walked past us holding a hot bowl of soup. At 12.03 p.m., I heard him yell, Ouch! Then, at 12.07, he called Gina into his office. She entered, holding nothing. One minute later, she left holding an opaque bag. Captain Holt's pants were in that bag. His knees are in the breeze. He's in his undies. That evidence is circumstantial. Oh, so you guys want visual confirmation? Not no. really. Done! Hey, Captain, I just need you to sign something at my desk real quick. Just leave it on the couch. Dismissed. Okay. Sir, you're gonna freak. Yo-Yo Ma is in the precinct and he's giving out autographs. Yo-Yo Ma is on tour in Australia right now. How would you know that? Sir, I'm choking on a lozenge. I'm gonna die. I got to take. No, 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 stop it. I glowed it, I glowed it, it's fine. Hey, hey, I made you another bowl of soup since you spilled yours earlier, but you're gonna have to come over here to get it. All right, Peralta, I'm sick of you wasting time. So, yes, I spilled some minestrone on my pants and I'm sitting in my underwear. Happy? Yes! Ugh. Sir, I need you to sign off on... Look at us! Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep, no story here. <laughs>